Hi there, I'm Edwin. I'm Ed back again and I bring forth an X5, not the BMW. Now, before I jump into the unboxing, I would love to thank GTEL for giving us something easy to work with. X5. GTEL X5. It just rolls off the tongue nicely. The box is pretty lean. It comes with a handful of accessories just to get you going, including a fast charge capable charger head, a really chunky one. It also includes a USB data cable and a pair of earphones. And guess what? The review unit we had came with two pairs. Nice. Now this is a review unit. The retail unit will also include a screen protector and a pouch. Bam! I got it in metallic gray and from the top, a 13 megapixel camera, an LED flash, the G logo in a nice circle. It is not a fingerprint reader if you thought so. And some literature at the bottom. The face is even better. The whole pane is curved glass protecting a generous 5.5 inch full HD display. Above it is the 16 megapixel selfie camera. Yes, it's bigger than the rear camera. The earpiece, a selfie flash, and the sensors. To the bottom, you find the navigation keys and a physical home button doubling as the fingerprint reader. Up top is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. To the left, the dual SIM tray and micro SD card slot. To the right, we have the power and volume buttons. And on the bottom, we have the primary microphone, the USB port, and the loudspeaker grill. The unlock screen is pretty familiar. User interface is clean and fluid and all apps are found on the home screen. There's no app drawer here. The widgets curtain pulls up from the bottom. Also a <clears throat> familiar feature. Drop down curtain is reserved for your notifications. Speaking of familiar features, hello. It's called Edge Bar and it gives you a list of applications that you frequently access. You can open it in any screen and even customize the app list. Out of the box, you get Android 7.0 Nougat with Amigo UI painted over it. The GTL X5 is a pretty capable device. Applications and games, they run fluidly. However, the biggest takeaway is just how cool it stays no matter what you throw at it. This means it's not at war with the battery and what a generous battery it has at 4,010 milliamperes. Fast charging tops up the battery swiftly which easily takes you through a full day of usage before you need a top up. This double lightning bolt trend is actually becoming a thing, eh? Anyways, in our endurance test, the GTEL experienced a 53% power drain after an hour each of gaming, video recording, and video streaming. Pretty decent. Having Android 7.0 means the GTEL comes with multi-window enabled, allowing you to run two apps simultaneously on the same screen. To use it, press the recent apps button taking you to all recently used apps. Long press on an app and drag it to the top. Select another app from the bottom and you can use both apps on the same window at the same time. Now weirdly, system apps are not supported by multi-window. Only Google applications and some third-party apps allow this feature. Star of the show is the 16 megapixel front camera that promises to raise your selfie game to levels not seen before. Oh, and the camera user interface is also <clears throat> familiar. And if you are wondering what I'm on about with this familiar rant, go to techzim.co.zw and search for GTEL A7150X4. The title alone is enough to clarify things. Cool, check out the selfies I captured with this thing. Hashtag no filter XA. Even the literature on my jacket is reversed but brutally crisp. Selfie lovers, you need this phone. Rear camera is no slouch either. Um, at this moment in time, let me just make the images speak for themselves. Sharp, detailed, vibrant shots. And my favorite. If you saw the last smartphone review, you might have bumped into this picture. For added security, a fingerprint sensor is integrated in the home button. It only takes a light tap on it to instantly unlock your device. In a nutshell, this is what the GTL X5 does right. It is a really beautiful looking device. The cameras, I am sure, will impress you. It stays really cool under heavy loads. It's very brisk when charging and the loudspeaker produces some very good sound. 
uh, there's not much that it could improve on except the raised display has a high risk of damage when dropped. The system applications do not support the split screen feature. We would have loved some slow motion video recording and the audio using the earphones is not really that great. Price tag is slammed at 409 bucks and you will be able to get yourself one from June 2017. Still waiting to get a hold of the bigger brother the X5 Plus so we can torture it as well. This review was gladly supported by pindula.co.zw where you will find everything you want to know about Zim. I'm Edwin, this was the GTL X5, until we meet again, hasta la vista, baby.